The Brisbane strikers did everything right except score goals. Chris Slater's header was cleared here, setting the scene in a day of missed chances. Olympic coach Tom Simoni's job is to pump new life into the struggling club. It seems to be working, but it could take time. The Blues' defence was at times woeful. Mike Gibson was responsible for keeping the strikers at bay. Chris Trajanovsky found a leaky defensive lapse, but his efforts were in vain. Sydney Olympic, however, did manage an escape route. A cross by Branko Milosevic found its way to Andrew Bernal. The former Socceroo was back in business. Sydney Olympic welcomed its newest recruit to Leichhardt Oval last weekend. There was no fanfare or good luck speeches for Tom Somani. Instead, he was confronted by the vocal tones of demanding supporters. But he was ready for the worst. I've been here a couple of seasons ago, so I know what they're like. And they demand that the team plays well, and that they demand good results. And I've come into the job realising that's the situation. And what I'm hoping for is the team really to perform well and get the spectators on side. In what's been a month of turmoil at the Sydney Glamour Club, Olympic fans were curious as to whether the appointment of a new coach would revive title aspirations. Bertie Mariani's sacking two weeks ago is still a talking point here, and fans are divided as to whether the right decision was made at such a critical time of the season. Come on, the blues! Do you agree with the sacking of Bertie Mariani? I don't think that this close to the end of the season it was worth it. Oh, I totally agree with the second Bertie Mariani. Should get the boot, should have got the boot earlier, actually. I think with um, Bertie Mariani being coach, I think it's top win today. It does nothing for the stability of the club. It does nothing for the stability of the game. And it does nothing for the image. So that's three uh, negatives. These supporters have been described as the most unforgiving in the country. And little wonder. In 18 years of National League history, championship success has come just once. They've got a tremendous passion for the game, tremendous passion, and uh, unfortunately they, uh, they're endowed with a uh, great degree of impatience for uh, success and they just can't, cannot wait. The supporters know how to take defeat, know how to take disappointment, and each year they come bouncing back. But we must also respect that they're paying the dollars to come to the stadium and they have a, an entitlement to see the best things on the park. Indeed, most fans expect a certain level of excellence by their team, but those at other clubs understand that success can't be achieved overnight. The fact of the matter is, we've got to appeal to Australian audiences. In Brisbane and Queensland, we're doing that. It's up to Melbourne or Victoria and New South Wales. That's their situation. Samani is the fourth coach in 20 months, filling the most unenviable seat of Leichhardt. So is the high turnover of coaches the answer to maintaining club stability? This season, our support has been up to 40%. In fact, this season, we are the best supporter club. Now, supporters who have been so generous and so loyal to the club, when things are not going well, when the team is not playing well, when uh, the team is not giving the supporters back value for money, then things have to be changed. Is there stability in this club? No, I don't think so. I've been supporting Olympic for many years and it's just too unstable. I mean, every, every time we get a bad loss, everybody just seems to be blaming everybody else. I don't feel that good. You know, you look at a team like South Melbourne and they're, they're, like all their um, success has been based on their stability. I don't know what the solution is, but somebody better come up with something, otherwise there won't be many people here. <laughs> Sydney Olympic says supporters have no influence over the committee's appointment of coaches and players but some just find that difficult to believe. Indirectly, uh, a great deal of uh, influence because they put pressure on, uh, on the committee and, uh, and then you've got the Greek media who also uh, can be aggressive, uh, reflecting the views of the supporters and uh, so it, it culminates into a turmoil. Despite recording his first victory, Somani didn't exactly reach hero status at full time. Yet, it seemed, the burden that was heavily resting on his shoulders over the last fortnight had been lifted. But the question remains, for how long? Do you feel better inside? I feel relieved, much more relieved than saying no. It was uh, a fairly long 90 minutes, to be honest. They're looking good for Sydney Olympic. The return of Andrew Bernal is seen as a breath of fresh air to a club that's been receiving more bad than good publicity in recent weeks. Is Bernal the missing link Olympic have been sweating on? Time will tell.